Alright, so today we're doing, I guess, your sexuality, but I'm right, with a disclaimer of 100% accurate results every time, so looking forward to that. First question is, what is your fashion style? The first answer is goth, which I am kind of lazy in how I dress. I usually just go for all black because you don't really have to think about it. I've been meaning to kind of branch into more, you know, colorful, diverse stuff, but I don't really know how it works in a way. I don't know how to match up stuff. I'm not really a fashion person, so. On the other hand, though, I think there's more to, um, goth fashion than just all black. Like, I wouldn't really consider how I dress goth, per se. The next option is prep. So I don't know what prep fashion is, so I looked it up. I still don't really know. It looks like 90s kind of style clothing, I guess. I don't even know what 90s style clothing is. I wasn't alive in the 90s. But I can't imagine wearing that kind of stuff. Like, no shame for anyone who does, but it's not me, you know. The next option is athletic. And I haven't exercised since, like, 10th grade, where it was literally mandatory, so... I can't imagine picking anything athletic. Next option is comfy, which actually probably is a good choice for me overall. I kind of go through cycles of like, I don't know, like seven year cycles where I'll spend a few years like dressing normally and then I'll go through like a two year period in which I wear my pajamas like exclusively. Like I don't wear normal clothes for like a full two year period. so. I'm not in it right now, but I think I'm in it for a big enough period of my time that it would classify. The next option is fancy. Every kind of like high-end, that isn't the right term, but you know, like fancy clothes that I've worn has been like just horribly uncomfortable. I've never been comfortable in like a suit or anything comparable. I don't know if it's the clothes I've been wearing, but I think part of it is I... I'm usually like a really warm person, like physically, temperature wise. And so having like multiple layers, like with a normal suit, I could probably go out in like minus 10, minus 20 Celsius weather. And like a suit would be hot enough for me that I would thrive just fine. Now, sixth option is flannels. For me, that's kind of the same thing as comfy. I don't know. If you're looking it up, it seems to be referring more to like flannel shirts, like the button up plaid things, you know, like Fantano wears. And I go for those myself quite often. You see, I was thinking it was referring to flannel pajamas, like pajama pants. I wear both pretty often, so maybe that's a better pick. And the last option is other. Like I said, I don't know enough about fashion to like know of any other fashion styles that could appeal to me outside of these ones. So I'm just going to go with flannels. And question two is for your star sign, do you... And the first option is identify with the star sign you were born with. The second option is identify with another star sign. Third option is don't know your star sign. And the last option is don't care. I kind of get the appeal of like personality groups in general, but I don't really subscribe to them. Like, I don't really believe in them directly. Outside of maybe, like, I know there's the Big Five, which is kind of supposed to be more scientifically backed than any others, but I don't really pay much attention to it in general, so I'm just gonna go with don't care, largely because I don't care, I guess. Question three is you find a wallet on the street full of cash and credit cards. Do you? And the first option is keep the cash and throw away the wallet. Which, I mean, if you're gonna steal it, I don't know why you wouldn't just go for the free wallet as well. Like, I wouldn't steal it. In general, I don't think. Like, I mean, I guess it depends how good a quality the wallet is. There are some wallets that almost have like a negative value to them. Like you'd have a higher net worth if you got rid of them, so. But overall, I, if you're gonna steal it, you might as well steal as much as you can, right? Second option is look for the owner's identification and try to return it to them. Which, I mean, of course I'm gonna pick this. Anyone genuinely taking a public test, anyone genuinely taking a test like this with the results in public is gonna pick this answer. Unless they're like playing a character. Although that being said, 
There's nothing saying I am genuinely taking these tests. But still, you know. The third option is look for the owner's identification and try to return it to them, but keep all the cash inside. Which at least I'd be a bit paranoid that the owner would suspect you of stealing the money. Like, like not that anything would necessarily come of it, but you'd be kind of the first person they'd suspect, right? I'd just be kind of paranoid. And the fourth option is Walmart shopping spree before they cancel their credit cards. If you're spending it on a credit card, they'll be able to probably trace you down. But more importantly, if you're going to go on a shopping spree, why would you do it in a Walmart? Like, maybe it's where I'm from, but I don't know if I could even, like, spend that much in a Walmart. Like, there's not that much stuff that I'd actually want. Like, there are some, like, good electronics and stuff, but you'd be better off going to, like, a Best Buy or something, you know? Like, having a shopping spree at a Walmart seems kind of disappointing. And I am going to go with the obvious answer. Fourth question is favorite animal. We have cat, dog, bird, spider, fish, other domestic animal, other exotic animal, or other other animal i think domestic and exotic kind of are meant as like opposites they should cover everything you know overall i'm sure i've said this before in a previous video but i'm chill with any animal that's chill with me i think spiders in general are kind of underappreciated like they can be kind of scary on first blush but i mean it might partially be because where i'm from there aren't really any dangerous spiders that are wild so you can kind of just in general you can mostly just chill with any spiders that come up and they you know they catch flies and stuff for you so i don't see why people aren't into that like i'd rather have a spider web in my room than like a hundred flies you know i'm also surprised they had spider over like horse i know there's a definite group of like horse people it seems like that would be an important one to have i wonder what the most like popular favorite animal ranking would be let's take a little detour i'm gonna look it up all right so i try to look up there's i guess i should realize there wouldn't be any like official rankings and the closest i could find was this list 25 site which is supposed to be like the top 25 based on like google search but when i try to i can only see 25 to 21 when i go next page just boots me back to the start yeah i can't figure out how to get to the top five so this was a fun little detour all right well anyways i'm gonna go with spider I probably do prefer dogs a bit, but I think spiders are going to be underrepresented enough that I should go with it. Question 5 is what type of people do you gravitate towards? In general, not romantically. Which I'm glad they specified in general, not romantically, because I, like most people, know more people I'm not romantically involved with than I am. So it gives you like a better wealth of resource to draw from. And the first option is happy-go-lucky slash generally cheerful people, which I don't really mind cheerful people. I wouldn't consider myself a cheerful person, but a lot of people I know who aren't super cheerful, or at least some of them tend to kind of use that as an excuse to dislike people who are, and I don't want to be like that. I'm not like that. So that being said, I wouldn't say I gravitate towards especially cheerful people, people who are more cheerful than usual. The second option is quiet slash depressed people. The thing is, there's usually only like one in a friend group. I mean, I guess probably not anymore, but that's kind of the stereotype. And I fulfill that role, so I don't tend to end up with a lot of other people with that role. Third option is band kids, which probably is the right answer. My mom made me take piano for a long time, so I kind of just have music as a reference point now, as like a th thing to do. Uh, like, it probably was for the best, because I wouldn't really have strong personality points otherwise. I tend to connect with people through, like, my music taste, so that's probably good. Fourth option is theater kids. 
which in my school we didn't really have a theater class so I haven't really ever met any theater people so I don't know if I would be compatible with them but it does mean that I don't gravitate towards them apparently and the fifth and sixth option as I was alluding to before are horse people horse girls and horse boys which I assume they mean it in like the sense of people who like horses not like horse boys as in cat boys you know I know that's a popular meme right now a lot of my family are horse people so I kind of rebel against it I'm surprised they have horse people here but didn't have horses as an option in the previous question. The second last option I'm too lazy to count is funny people, which I mean in part I like funny people over unfunny people I guess. That's not really a controversial statement I hope, but it doesn't seem that descriptive. And the last option is other, which I've been wondering what kind of people you would gravitate towards that wouldn't classify as any other, like people who have a definite archetype that you can recognize but don't fit any of the categories. Yeah, I'm gonna go with band kids for this one. Although in retrospect, I am a bit suspicious of the term kids. I like to specify I am in my 20s. I don't hang out with people I would consider kids. Maybe it's referring to kids in a more like philosophical sense. You know how more immature people tend to call themselves kids? Is that a thing? I think I just made that up. Anyways, let's not think about it anymore. Sixth question is, what kind of person do you see yourself as? And with the exact same set of options as the previous question. And in my discussion of the last question, I did go through how each option relates to me. So I'm going to go with quite and depressed. Band kid could also work. I think trying to keep my options more diverse would better tailor my results. Question seven is, are you comfortable with the person you are? And the options are yes, no, I don't know, and I don't know what kind of person I am. I mean, you never truly know yourself, right? Is the self not just an illusion? That being said, I do have the objectively ideal personality. I know most people think that about themselves, or at least a lot of people do, but the difference is I actually do have the ideal personality, so I'm gonna go with yes. Question 8 is D&D alignment. Nine options, each being either lawful, neutral, or chaotic, paired with good, neutral, or evil. In terms of lawfulness, I'd say I'm pretty neutral. I don't go out of my way to break any laws, but I don't go out of my way to, like, follow them either. You know, like, I don't break when people are on the roads. I'll just, you know, run people over now and then. So I wouldn't say I'm lawful, but I wouldn't say I'm chaotic, per se. That being said, I am definitely evil. I am kind of an objectively bad person, so I'm going to go with neutral evil, I guess. Question 9 is favorite season, with the options being spring, summer, fall, winter. I don't have a favorite, and I like more than one the same amount. I think every season kind of has their own charm. I went through a phase in like my late teens where I kind of hated summer, but now I'm starting to like appreciate the vibe again. That being said, like I mentioned before, I do kind of run hot in general. So winter is really nice to be able to just like have something to push against thermally, if you know what I mean. So I am going to go with winter, but I think really any choice is valid. Question 10 is a obligatory lyrics question, but it's just nursery rhymes, so pick your favorite from when you were a kid. They have Mary Had a Little Lamb, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, The Alphabet Song, and Humpty Dumpty. I didn't know there was a melody for Humpty Dumpty. And Twinkle Twinkle Little Star ABC are the same song. Like, it's based on this traditional French song. Like, if you can read sheet music, you can probably see from the sheet music on Wikipedia that it's that same melody. Although looking at the lyrics, the original French lyrics were, if not quite the original French lyrics, but the, some of the lyrics they have here are kind of intense for a nursery rhyme, but I guess a lot of nursery rhymes were. Here they do mention that they're all the same melody, which 
I'm a little disappointed they didn't have Baba Black Sheep. I guess Mary had a little lambs going with that same sheep motif, but it doesn't have the same melody. That being said, I do want to pick the more unique option, so I guess that sets me as Mary had a little lamb. And question 11 is tell me about your day or don't. And it's a text box again. And personally, I started this recording at 5 in the morning. So I don't know if my day has started or not. I don't know how that works when you, like, haven't slept. Where do you put the threshold? I'm going to put it's 5 in the morning. And honestly, the weird thing is I don't really feel that tired right now. My whole sleep cycle is kind of weird. Like, I, I didn't sleep properly last night. And I didn't have any naps. So I was expecting to be just, like, dead tonight. But... I haven't slept all night and I'm still feeling pretty good. So I'm going to put I'm just vibing, not vibing. And let's see what we got. Hey, I like that result. Our result is a zero with the caption being, I'm really tired of being labeled as every other sexuality on every other quiz I've taken. So here, you all get to suffer with me. And it's the only possible result. So I'm going to rate this quiz five stars and mean it this time. This was... It's true there isn't much a zero representation, so I don't know if it's meant to be both a sexual and romantic orientations, but I appreciate it either way, and yeah, this went well, I think.